Hey guys, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It, and today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute little alphabet crayons. Your kids are going to love playing with these, and you're probably going to too. They also make super cute little gifts or party favors. So let's go ahead and get started. First, go ahead and preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Then grab all the crayons that you want to use. It doesn't matter if they're already broken or if they're still in one piece. If they're already broken, it's just going to save you a little bit of time later on. Then I'm going to go ahead and start by dividing all of the crayons into color groups. So I'll put all the greens together, all the pinks, all the blues, etc. And this will help things be more organized and make things easier in the long run. Okay, now that we have them divided by color, we're going to move on to the most time consuming part of the whole craft, which is peeling the paper off of the crayons. Now you can use your fingers to peel it off, but this will take a long time and it's really going to wear on your fingernails. Or you can use a craft knife. Now this is not an activity for kids. This knife is very sharp, so please be super careful. Just cut a slit along the paper. It doesn't matter if you cut into the crayon when you're doing this because we'll be breaking the crayons into pieces and melting them anyways. Okay, so now just continue cutting the paper off of the crayons and setting those to the side. And also here's a fair little warning for you. All of my Crayola crayons are double wrapped with paper. So they take a little bit longer to cut through. You kind of have to cut a slit through the first layer, peel it off, and then cut another slit through the second piece of paper. So those take a little bit longer. If you want to go faster, you could just use only crayons from like the dollar store or something like that. Most of those did not seem to be double wrapped at all. Therefore, they are a little bit faster to deal with. And obviously you can make your crayons look however you want. I knew that I kind of wanted mine to be a little bit mingledy. So when I put pinks and reds together, I wanted multiple shades of pinks, multiple shades of reds. And same with the greens and the blues. I didn't just want all royal blue or all bright pink. I wanted different shades. So that's why I have so many different brands kind of mixed together because I was trying to get tons of different variations in the shades that I could play with. But obviously that's totally up to you. And now it wouldn't be safe for your little kiddos to help with this really sharp craft knife. But by all means, if they want to sit there and help you peel off the paper with their little fingers, they might actually be better at it than we are because their fingers are so tiny. So let them go after it if they want to sit there and peel the paper off. It is going to make a mess and there is going to be little scraps of paper everywhere, but it's a super fun activity. Okay, so now that I have all the pinks and reds peeled, I'm going to show you how easy it is to break them. Guys, you just snap them with your fingers. Each whole piece, whole crayon, should be able to break into about four or five pieces per crayon. So just break them into small pieces and then set them to the side. And you're going to do this with all of the colors. So go ahead and peel the rest of the colors and then snap them all into tiny little pieces. Okay, now that all of my crayons are broken into small pieces, we're going to put these little pieces in the silicone alphabet mold. And by the way, I have all of these supplies like this silicone alphabet mold linked in the description below this video. And guys, this mold is under $10, so you're not breaking the bank with this craft, which is awesome. But before I put the crayons in the mold, I actually want to add a little bit of glitter. I wanted to do something to make these extra fun, so I'm going to put a little bit of this glitter at the bottom of the letters. Now, I'm not making every single letter in the mold, but only the letters that I think my girls will want to play with, use to spell out their names and certain words and stuff. So just kind of sprinkle the glitter into the letters that you want to make. Now it's time to start filling the letter molds with the crayons. And I'm going to use the color families for each letter. So of course you could mix the colors together and make rainbow crayons or blue and green crayons or whatever. But I thought it'd be really fun to make each letter from a certain color family. Try your best to use all the little pieces to fill in the letter molds completely. You might need to break some of the pieces into smaller pieces as you go. Sometimes I stood the crayon pieces up vertically and sometimes I laid them down. I honestly just did whatever filled the letters the easiest and I really wasn't super anal about how I did it. The main thing you want to concentrate on is filling the letter mold completely and up to the top of the mold. Okay guys, so I'm just going to clear off my table really quick because this little craft is making quiet the mess. And so I'm actually going to be putting these silicone molds on a cookie sheet while they're in the oven. That way it helps support the letters. So go ahead and move the little silicone mold over to the cookie sheet. And then before you put it in the oven, I'm actually going to double check all the letters and make sure there are no little spots that need more crayon. So just make sure there's no little gaps that need anything extra and that all the letters are completely filled the best that you can. Then go ahead and stick the cookie sheet in the oven, which should already be heated to 300 degrees. 
And we're gonna bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes or whenever the wax is fully melted. So it's important to keep an eye on these as they're in the oven. So here we are now seven minutes in and you can tell that the wax is definitely melting, but it's still really clumpy in spots. So it's definitely gonna need a little bit longer. Okay guys, so it ended up taking 15 minutes for the wax to melt all the way. So that's when I went ahead and pulled them out of the oven. I then put the cookie sheets on some trivets and set them up on my kitchen counter to let them cool off. And hopefully you can tell, but this wax is very melty. So it's almost a water consistency. It is very, very liquidy. And so it's going to take a while for it to cool off. So guys, I know it's easy to want to rush and like cool them off in an hour and pop them out. But I'm going to let them cool off for a long time so that I know they're cooled all the way down to the bottom. Because you definitely don't want to pop them out when they're not ready. Okay, so here's a little update. They have been cooling off for about an hour and a half now. You can tell the top layer is definitely firming up, but I'm still not gonna mess with them. I want them to really have more time to kind of harden and stiffen before I mess with them at all. Okay guys, so I ended up letting them cool for an entire day. They were definitely ready last night, but life got kind of crazy. So here I am today, and honestly, it's probably best that I waited 24 hours anyways. So let's pop them out and see how they look. Okay, so you just kind of pull the silicone mold back and pull the letter right out. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is, guys. Every time I make these, I'm so impressed with how cute they turn out. I really don't think they could be any cuter, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop out all of the letters so that we can look at all of them. My girls are going to love playing with these. I mean, who wouldn't, right? And this was the first time that I added this chunkier glitter and I think they're really going to love it. Some of these are really cool. The darker colors kind of have a galaxy look like the blue one is kind of like an ocean sky galaxy. So they're just so pretty. They're going to be so much fun to play with. Okay, now with these molds, if there are any weird spots in the mold where it didn't pop back, just push it into shape. So when you pull the letters out, sometimes they get a little misshapen, but they're super easy to pop back into place. So don't worry about kind of yanking on it like this. When you're pulling the letter out, you can totally yank on it. And then when it gets stuck, you can just push it back and it goes right back together. And then just go ahead and wash it with soap and warm water and you can use them again and again. Okay friends, so that's it. I hope you love these DIY alphabet crayons as much as I do. And I know that my girls are really going to love playing with them, spelling out their names, like how I have Macy laid out right here. And they're going to love coloring with them. And I love how easy they are to make and how they look so cute and like something that you could find on Etsy. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye guys!